Hello photographers, direct support for these videos comes from sales of my video courses or the use of my affiliate links, all of which can be found down in the description. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to use the Canon R6 in manual mode. Now, the very first thing you need to do is put the camera in manual mode from whatever mode you might be in by switching to the M on the mode dial. Once you've done that, you have full control over the camera's exposure and other photo settings. So you need to be able to see and change those settings. And we're gonna start with the exposure settings. You can see those exposure settings on the bottom of the screen. And you'll see them there, whether you're using the rear display or you're looking through the actual viewfinder. Now, the R6 is great because it gives you three control dials and each of those dials is assigned to one of your exposure settings. So we're going to start with this top control dial here, which is where your finger rests when you're holding the camera. And that dial changes your shutter speed. When you spin that to the left, your shutter speed gets longer. And when you spin it to the right, your shutter speed gets shorter or faster. The next dial dial is this one right here, the rear thumb dial, and that one changes your ISO. So if you spin it to the right, your ISO increases, and if you spin it to the left, your ISO decreases. Now, one of the things that I want to point out is that your camera is set to auto ISO by default. And what I recommend doing is turning that off. So if you haven't seen my R6 setup guide, which explains how to do that, what you would do is go into your menu and you would go to camera menu page two, which is where we are now. And you would go into this ISO speed settings menu and you would turn this off. So by default, it's set to this auto option right here. And to turn it off, you just set it to any ISO you want. It doesn't matter because you can change your ISO using this mode dial like I just demonstrated. But what's nice is, let's say you wanted to use auto ISO, you can quickly enable auto ISO by spinning the ISO dial all the way to the left until you see auto. Now the last dial is this rear dial here and this dial controls your aperture. And when you spin this, you can see the aperture number changing. When you spin it to the left, your aperture number gets smaller, indicating a large larger opening in the lens. And when you spin it to the right, your aperture number gets larger, which indicates a smaller opening in the lens. If you're not sure about these numbers and what they mean, check out these videos up here, which will explain them to you. So those are the exposure settings, which are wonderful. Now you have your exposure indicator right there on the back of the camera, which tells you what your exposure level is at. Generally speaking, you want your exposure indicator to be at or around zero, but that's just a general rule. If you want to understand why that would be different, check these videos out up here. Now, when you're taking your photos, you need to know how much light you're capturing, and that's what the exposure indicator is for, which is that graph you see at the bottom of the viewfinder in between your other settings. And it typically has an indicator that tells you if your image is over or underexposed, but only if the camera meter is actually active. So if you don't see your indicator, or just half press your shutter button to wake up the camera meter. And now you can see that right now my image is underexposed because it is at the minus three level, but we're actually greatly underexposed. So if I press the shutter button again to wake it up and I start moving my shutter speed, you'll see even though I'm letting in more light with slower shutter speeds, the exposure indicator still isn't moving because I was very underexposed. I was at maybe minus 10 or minus 20. So as I get to slower and slower shutter speeds, you'll see now finally the exposure indicator is starting to move until here at one second I get to zero or the center or a balanced exposure. Now again, this is just a guideline, but this is a good place to start as far as setting your exposure when you're taking photos. So that's your aperture, ISO, and shutter speed, but you have other options that you may want to change, which you can access by pressing this Q button right here to bring up your quick menu. And in your quick menu, you have a bunch of different options. You move through the options by using the rear control dial. And here you have your autofocus method, which you can learn about in this video right here. You have your autofocus operation, which is either single shot or continuous or servo focus. You can change the quality of your image, RAW and or JPEG. You can change the drive mode from single shot to burst mode or whatever. You can change your metering mode. This anti-flicker shoot you don't have to worry about, but the last option I wanna point out is the white balance, which is definitely something you'll want to change depending on the situation you're shooting in. So that's how to get started using your Canon R6 in manual mode. If you have questions about the R6, let me know down in the comments. If you wanna do that YouTube bullshit to help me out, like, subscribe, whatever, that'd be great. But make sure you get out there and take some damn photos.